Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ian Yu, who you've never met before, and this is an unplanned video, but I just really want to do some repotting, and I thought, why not film? Today, I am going to put some plants into pon. Not pon, I've got the Soil Ninja Semi Hydro. This is the fine mix. Um, what I'm going to be potting in there is these two jungle cacti. I don't know the idea of this one and this one is the Lepisium something or other. I got both of those from the plant swap, which if you haven't seen the video, I'll have that linked. Um, I'm going to put those into some pond. I need to desperately, desperately <laughs> repot my Hoya linearis, which has been in this kind of chunky it's the soil ninja semi hydro mix with like added bark it just looks awful it's constantly drying out i really need to get that repotted and then i am going to repot my alocasia sabrina black stem which i i love this plant me and alocasia we're not the best of friends we don't always get on um but it's really enjoyed being in this like again it was the soil ninja semi hydro chunky mix with lots of bark and lecker i'm just gonna pot it into the um into the fine semi hydro mix let's just get going oh no i haven't put my mic on <gasps> you've probably just heard all of the road i'm so sorry let me get let me get my mic on rookie error <laughs> I hope that wasn't too awful. Let's let's carry on. I'm gonna start with this one. I've been so excited to get this potted up into this little pot that I decorated. Me and Steve went to a um like it's a pottery cafe where you can go and paint pots and I did these two designs. <laughs> I'm really happy with how they turned out. So I'm gonna put this one in here i think the simplicity the words i think the simplicity will look really nice and then i'm gonna put this one in here i'm really excited <laughs> okay i'm just gonna dive straight in how are you like i i feel like it's been really weird on youtube at the moment i've hit a thousand subscribers and i'm ahead of like my filming schedule so normally i would be filming the weekend before the video goes up whereas now i'm like a week ahead of myself so i feel a little bit all out of sorts to be completely honest like so it feels a bit weird it feels good to be on top of things but it just feels a little bit strange as well so put a little little layer in and I'll show you the roots on this one so it was an unrooted cutting when I got it at the swap you can kind of see I'm happy with those roots in terms of going into pond because what I will do is I will put more water in here and it'll almost be like a water propagation but with some extra little stuff around it where which side do I, I want it to sit it kind of sit on the shelf so that you can see both both sides i love the speckled i was amazed that they had like speckled paint i thought that was really really cool so i think i want it to kind of sit about here oh yeah look how cute that is <laughs> so cute you can you can see what i'm doing that's good often you cannot move my uh, glass spherical propagator but yeah how are you i just feel like i haven't really caught up with with any of you recently which just feels a little bit strange i i'm still in shock that we've hit a thousand subscribers like obviously i hoped it would happen but the fact that it's actually happened I can't even fathom. I can't even fathom it. I'm, I'm so grateful. I really, really am. 
I love, 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 love making these videos and the fact that I get to earn a little bit of money from it. I'm just so thankful. I do plan on making like a how much money YouTube paid me video. <laughs> so if you're interested in that and you're not already, you do subscribe <laughs> so that you don't miss it. There we go. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness. That is adorable. I'm so happy with that. I'm going to put that, I'll put it here. Ooh. I can tell I'm going to get pins and needles. It might just have to happen. I've got nowhere to put that leg. Wah! Ooh. let's do the other jungle cactus like seriously i have no idea maybe a ripsalis of some kind i've got no idea what this is but i really love it and it's it is nice and rooty i think it'll be happy in here i can't wait to get that hoya <laughs> Oh yeah, pull it up. Oh, it's been in there for way too long. Cute. Like, how do I want it to sit? Oh no! Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Very nearly went in my cup of tea. Well, we don't want that to happen again, do we? Oh no. Oh, it's really hard to make sure that they're all like down. Maybe I just need to rest it. There we go. Okay. Both of the pots I made don't have drainage, which is what I wanted. I didn't want drainage holes. I want them to, like I want to be able to just chuck some water in there when it comes to filling up I bought, I'm, I'm just gonna have to learn what these plants look like or just keep an eye on the kind of weight of the pots to know when to refill if that makes sense because obviously I'm, I'm not familiar that is cute right that's really cute oh I'm so happy I love it so cute Oh, let's do the Hoya. For the Hoya, I'm going to put it in this pot, which I found in B&M. It was in the like bathroom storage area. Two pound. I didn't think that was that bad. Ugh, I hate it when they don't put like the easy peel stickers on it. Ugh. Gonna have to get that off another time. Ooh. But I'm, I'm, oh God, doing a terrible job. <laughs> this is quite a substantial size up and I'm quite happy with that. Ooh, I do have another one that I could put in with it, but it is a bit shorter. Will that look a bit odd? Possibly not. I'd be happy putting that in there just because of how rooty it is. I'm just going to see if I can easily reach the other linearis that I have that I could put in there with it. Oh, what a palaver. This is what happens when I don't like set up properly. Okay, I got the other one. So it is, it's a bit shorter. But I think it could look nice, a bit dispersed in there. So I will do that together. This one has been in soil. So that's the only concern, I suppose. But I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. God. This one's like, you see this like vine that's grown down? That should have grown up. That's 
so dry. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh dear. God. I don't even know how to like... What on earth? I might just have to leave that in there. Good grief. Okay. I don't know where to go next. Let's put some let's put some semi-hydro in here. I know all of these plants are gonna be so, so much happier now. Okay. I'm gonna have to move my little my little smiley face guy and put this one hanging here and then I'm gonna put these kind of dotted around it I think. Oh I've lost a leaf. Surprised I haven't lost more to be honest. I just don't want this to look like it's like a short one like plopped on the end if you know what I mean so I want it to kind of blend in a little bit so I feel like I need to get it positioned in an okay place <laughs> I feel like you can really tell Well, maybe not I don't know maybe not okay I'll fill her up and then try and like rearrange a little bit more I think are there any videos you would be interested in seeing from me I would love to hear it I've got like some ideas I'm excited about but I'm always open to new ideas would you guys be interested in hearing more about my job I'm only asking because I'm just thinking about the day that I've had like it's been a really like overwhelming day but there have been like it's been like a bit of a up and down day so I'm a mental health nurse if you're new here and I specifically work in in a community team in CAMS so that's children and adolescent mental health services and then I'm a bit more specific again in that I work in eating disorders and I re recently got a bit of a promotion to work with or to kind of like set up a pathway for our neurodiverse young people, our neurodivergent young people, sorry. Um, and like one of the highs from today was meeting with one of the young people I've, I've got who is neurodivergent. She's got autism and we suspect she's got ADHD as well. And up until today, she'd communicate to me through her iPad, so like a communication app on her iPad. And today, halfway through the session, she spoke to me. And like, get I could get emotional thinking about it. Like, the fact that she felt comfortable enough to be able to speak to me using her voice, using her words, and not to communicate through an app. Like it's such an honour, a privilege to be in her space and just get to know her on that level and for her to feel that comfortable I just I just feel I just, it made me really happy and I was like <laughs> I looked at mum and I was like I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it but oh my god <laughs> it's just amazing it's just amazing I'm so happy to be a part of like getting this set up like all of the people in our team are great with autism and ADHD and neurodivergence but the way that our team is set up to work like some of the treatment pathways just don't just don't work they're just not quite right not quite set up for neurodivergent young people and it's just such a passion of mine I'm so excited to be making a bit of a difference and to have to have that happen today like I've not met her that many times like it just I know I'm doing the right thing like this is what I was supposed to be doing and yeah I just really enjoy it and it's definitely like 
I've got ADHD, if you don't know I've got ADHD, I'm waiting to be assessed for autism and I'm really recognising that some things are like hyper fixations which are quite quick and fleeting hobbies <laughs> that are like part of the ADHD and then there are like the real special interests which are a bit more kind of the autism side which are like plants and neurodivergence is definitely a special interest. I am obsessed with learning as much as I can about it. I'm just holding the whale in it, so that's repotted. Oh no, there's a there's a bit of a gap at the front. I'm just gonna try and get that potted in. Steve's just come home. Hi baby. Pop that one there. For the alocasia, I'm just gonna put it in this glass no drainage vessel that I got from IKEA and I think it'll It'll, it's a small size up but it's a size up and I'm really aware that it's likely that it's going to go dormant soon anyway so I'm hoping I can just kind of like unpot and plop although the roots are possibly telling me otherwise I don't think it'd be that easy to unpot it let's see I kind of want to like have a little rummage to see if there's some corns. Ooh, oh my god. Oh, I was hoping to get this done before Steve got home from work so I could tidy up, but um, <laughs> just making more of a mess. Look at those roots. Wow. Oh my god. Those are some good roots. I'm not going to have a rummage now to see if there's um, any corms, but I will next time. Okay, I'll just pop it in and hope for the best. Oh, that's a really decent size up though. I think that'll be much happier. Much, much happier. Right, let's get this one filled up so that I can stop filming and tidy up. This is like the world's shortest video. Wow. So with all of these, I'm just going to give them a good drink. They're all, I mean, there's the two water props. So they're used to having wet roots. So it's fine to give them quite a big drink. And then the Hoya and this Alocasia are just both very thirsty. So I'll also give them a big drink. Have any of you used the uh, Soil Ninja Semi Hydro? Like, if you have, let's chat about it in the comments. I'd love to hear other people's opinions on it. I've found that my Alocasia have probably been the happiest in there. Like I said, I don't tend to get on with Alocasia, but um, they seem pretty happy in this substrate, so that's good. I'm just trying to fill in the gaps down here. I think that'll be okay. There we go. Done. Well, look at that. That is so much nicer. I am gonna tidy up, water these guys, and I will see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this repotting video, check out this playlist. It's all of my repotting videos. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye.